Well, hello everyone. So today we're going to be looking at the SH Figure Arts War Greymon. Um, this one's designed after the Our War Game movie. Well, I'm not anime style in the color scheme, so this is the only SH Figure Arts War Greymon we have right now. <coughs> I wish I kind of hope they do a premium color edition to go with the Omega Mon, but we'll talk about him another day. So War Greymon, SH Figure Arts Digimon Adventure, Our War Game War Greymon. Him on the side, Bandai Tamashii Nations, War Greymon, War Greymon, War Greymon and Taichi, War Greymon, War Greymon, War Greymon, War Greymon, Taichi, and then stuff. So, War Greymon, right here. Um, he's the first Digimon figure we're going to be looking at on this channel because he was the main protagonist final form in the original anime. So, going with him. So, War Greymon first debuts at the very end end of Digimon Adventure episode 38 um, where there was a prophecy and uh, I'm paraphrasing here but angels of hope and angels, two angels would shoot arrows of hope and light at the loved ones of those they're sent to protect so two angels Angemon, Angewoman arrows, hope and light, their crests are hope and light loved ones of the ones they're sent to protect, TK Kari their big brothers Tai, Chi, and Yamato so, she does a hope and light Agumon come on warp to evolve into War Greymon Milgarumon to defeat Venom Myotismon. To defeat Venom Myotismon, go back to the digital world. Then War Greymon and Milgarumon reappear to battle the Dark Masters. With War Greymon himself defeating two of the four Dark Masters, those being Machine Dramon and Metal Sea Dramon. Um, he helps defeat Piedmon and Apocalamon, the two final bosses. Then he appears again in, well, the Our War Game movie, which is what this is based on, um, to battle Diablomon, but he and War Metal Garumon are defeated and then eventually fuse into Omegamon. We'll talk about Omegamon another day. So, he makes a brief appearance in Digimon Adventure Zero 2 to battle his dark counterpart, Black War Greymon, and then witnesses Black War Greymon sacrifice himself next episode. Um, and then he appears in all but one of the Tri movies. And it's usually just to quickly evolve into Omega Mon, except for there was one episode where he got infected and attacked uh, Metal Mega Kabuteri Mon. There was another episode, another one where he and Metal Guru Mon defeated a Metal Cedar Mon. So, there is that. He did not appear in Last Evolution Kizuna, but he did have a very big role in the 2020 reboot where he um again was Agumon's mega form um and he <laughs> defeats three of the four major villains um the first time he appears is um as a silhouette against Don Devimon after um Agumon Dark evolves to Machine Dramon and then Angemon frees him and he briefly becomes this guy he doesn't fully evolve until episode 30 um battles various monsters and personally himself defeats Dark Knightmon, who was actually Gatomon, but that's the story for another day. Um he also shows up to defeat uh another Machine Dramon and somehow Spirit Bomb Gaia forces Millenniummon. That bothered me. Um he makes his final appearance in the second to last episode against uh the final big bad guy of Bottomon, but Ultimately, he's not enough and has to merge with Metal Gurumon to become Omega Mon again to defeat him. But so what Omega Mon another day? He makes appearances in other series. Um, he has um, not kind of the adventure one, obviously. He um, actually the adventure one does appear in the Digimon Cross Wars crossover that had um, all the protagonists at that point. Digimon teaming uh, characters teaming up to defeat Quartzmon. So War Grey Mom was there, obviously. Um, another War Grey Mom also appeared at the very end of Cross Wars as a Digimemory. Um, another War Grey Mom appears in X Evolution, the film, where um, he was an ex antibody form and he was kind of leading a charge against the Royal Knights. Um, Another one appears in Atmon in like a one episode crossover with Digimon 
where an Agumon bonds with the main character in Digivolves to War Um I think that's it. Pretty sure that's all the War Greymon appearances. If I miss something, let me know. But now let's talk about the figure. This figure is fantastic. Um, the D I had the D arts back in the day. I'm not gonna be comparing it to the D arts because I actually don't have the original D arts mold anymore. I do have Black War Greymon, the D arts Black War Greymon, but I'm gonna do. I'll review him separately. Um, but I want to do War Greymon first. War Greymon appears first. Um, I do think this mold is much better than the D arts mold. Um, the D arts mold, I like the paint job because it's all metallic and stuff. Then the problem with my uh, figure arts collection is um, I have I don't have the figure arts Omega Mon to go with him. I have the premium color edition Omega Mon, so he kind of looks out of place. But it's okay. He's awesome. He he does the design justice. The color scheme makes sense. He's based on our war game. Um, and it's a very good mold. A very good mold. So those things are gonna go forward. And they are gonna go back a little bit. They can go in and out. Double knee joint. He's got massive amounts of foot articulation. His toes can bend. He's got insane ab crunch. That piece can pop off, but that's easily fixable. Double elbow joint, wrist articulation. Much better than the D-Art. I'll get to that. Shoulders, in and out, up and down. The armor will move to accommodate. So don't you worry about that. His neck goes... Dun, 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 dun. Says on a full... Would be on a full 360, but the, uh, the hair kind of gets in the way. And his shield on the back is fully movable. So you can... get it to collapse I part of me wishes it could come off and he could hold it because that, that would be cool but you know for what he is he gets the job done um accessory count he's a little weird um so he obviously comes with the Draymond killers which can come off and they can be replaced with these fists you get two of these and these open hands okay that's cool. You're only ever a display war grandma with the Draymond Killers. But I mean, that, I mean, he did appear with fists and open hands, so that's fine. I wish he came with a Gaia Force effect piece. That'd be really cool, because like the uh, the Metal Gurumon, who will be the next Digimon figure review, spoiler alert, um, comes with his Kakita's Breath Attack. So I wish he came with a Gaia Force, but, you know. He comes with this weird stand of Tai Chi in the internet. I mean, it's kind of cool. But I'm never going to display him like that. So, I mean... It's cool. But I'm not going to display him like that, personally. Um, but, going back... This figure's fantastic. Um, he is one of my favorite figure arts, for sure. I think he's really solid. Um, the only issue I really have with him is his lack of a Gaia Force, and I think his paint scheme doesn't match the rest of the line. It's not a bad paint scheme, it just doesn't match the rest of the figures. But, he looks good, and um, he's the best War Greymon figure we have right now. Um, it's a little hard to come by nowadays. When he first came out, he was relatively cheap, he was 40 bucks. He's not easy to find nowadays, so if you want a War Greymon figure, you're probably better off getting the figure eye standard because it's easier to obtain. But if you can find this guy for like 50 bucks, I'd say grab him for sure. He's a really solid figure, in my opinion. Um, and I think he's the best War Greymon we have. Um, hopefully one day they premium color him so he matches the rest of the line. But until then, I love him. War Greymon's always been a favorite of mine, so... Having an SH figure arts of him is pretty cool. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and stick around. We got more coming soon. Take care.